Hey everybody, welcome back. Ask me anything, Substack Spilled Milk edition. Uh, submit your questions. I would love to hear from you. I This is my favorite part of the week is actually having this type of conversation with our community. Uh, so please subscribe. That allows you to ask questions and I'll answer them. Uh, first one up, Josh writes, I'm from Minnesota and most of us just deep fry the walleye filet and toss the rest. Is there a reason we can't or don't eat the roe sack or gut it, stuff it with herbs and cook it whole on the grill? Yes, there's a reason why all across America people don't do that with small fish. Uh, but the whole rest of the world does is that we're opposed to anything with the head on it. We don't want to get messy. I think it's ridiculous. I think it's a prima donna attitude about food. It angers me. Um, it, when I'm fishing, whether it's in Minnesota, if I catch a walleye, whether it's, you know, on the coast and I catch a, you know, three pound red snapper or anything that, or, or bigger, uh, is just to gut it. Yes, if it's a female and there's roe, I pan fry it medium rare and serve it with brown butter and lemon, just like they do with shad roe on the East Coast. Um, but I take fish whole after I scale it and put it on a green stick and lean it over the fire or uh, just brush it with oil and grill it whole. We have recipes on my website at andrewzimmer.com for all of that. And then it's easy to make a little sauce or salsa or something just to throw on top of it Fish that's cooked on the bone whole is so much tastier than fish that's filleted. And obviously I'm talking about fish that are small, uh, anything under, you know, 12, 15 pounds. I even will take a, you know, Copper River uh, salmon is just coming into season uh, over the next day or two. And uh, I will, you know, I'll endeavor to buy a smaller one, 10, 12, 14 pounds, and then I will just cook the whole thing, you know, half hour on each side on the grill, uh, pull it off and serve that at a party. It feeds 20 people. It's just so much fun to cook whole fish. And, you know, it's, it's the same principle that I use with a 12 ounce trout. Everyone gets I mean, there. Obviously, it's a much smaller animal. It's, you know, one fish per portion or 14 ounce trout. Um or just saute or grill the whole thing. It's so, so, so easy uh, and tastes so much better. Uh, Jeff asks, what are your hobbies or interests outside of the culinary variety? Uh, uh, anything where we keep score. I'm a very competitive person. Uh, I love disc golf. I love playing tennis. Uh, I love collecting 19th century prints. I collect color photography from 1970s New York. Um, I, you know, obviously like everyone else, uh, I'm obsessed with all of my, you know, TV binge shows that I like to watch. Um, I'm especially fond of, uh, the television that comes out of the Nordic countries. Uh, you know, it, it, it's incredible what uh, those countries have produced television-wise. There's a show called Occupied. There's a show called Borgen. Uh, what else do uh, What else do I like from over there? Um, there's uh, I love Brit Brit British crime dramas are big for me. Um, I love being in the outdoors. I love hunting and fishing. Uh, I think most people, uh, you know, know that they can tell from, you know, my television career. I like to, I like to go out and do that. I mean, put me in a boat with a rod and reel in my hand. And I'm the happiest guy in the world. Um, and I love to cook. Uh, <laughs> if you, Mr. Biscuit, I love people that don't want to use their real name. Mr. Biscuit writes, if you were to be a meal, how would you wish to be dispatched and what would be your tasty parts? That's hysterical. Uh, how would I wish to be dispatched? Um, I don't know. Uh, I mean, I, I guess I'd want to be koshered. Uh, I think there are some very humane ways uh, to dispatch animals. Uh, you know, the small processors that uh, harvest hoofed animals uh, do a, um, a, uh, a, a stun gun to the head that is, you know, quick and, uh, painless. I, I, I guess I'd want to go that way. Um, 
And my tastiest parts would be the non-working cuts. So that would be the short loin. Anything from the armpits to the hips uh, is all the... Um, my, my tenderloin and back straps would be fantastic. Uh, Ozzy writes, growing up, did you have a favorite baseball player? Oh my gosh, of course I did. Uh, you know... My, my earliest favorite baseball player was Nolan Ryan. And then when the Mets traded him, uh, I became a lifelong Yankee fan um, until I moved to Minnesota. And then I started to really uh, fall in love with the uh, the twins. So I love the Yankees and twins. And the fact that they share uh, one of the craziest records in all of baseball, I, I think no team has lost more in playoffs consecutive games to a team that the twins have to the Yankees. It's crazy. Um, and I can see it happening again, the way the, the baseball gods work that the twins will make the playoffs and the Yankees will have the best record in baseball. And the, uh, the twins are a competitive division. Uh, and it'll be Yankees and twins again. Um, but yeah, Nolan Ryan was my favorite growing up. And then of course, once I switched over, I mean, I loved Ron Guidry, uh, old pitcher or pitcher for the Yankees when I was in high school. And, uh, I love, who else was I absolutely nuts about? Uh, well, I love that great 86, uh, Mets team. I mean, the, the Keith Hernandez, Dwight Gooden, Daryl Strawberry, Lenny Dykstra group of lunatics, uh, were unbelievably fun, uh, to watch. Uh, but uh, yeah, I'm a huge baseball fan. My, my, my love of baseball players was not just limited, uh, to ones in, uh, New York either. Um, I'm still a big baseball fan. So yeah, it's looking to be a good season. Uh, if the twins can stay injury free, we're looking good. And of course, when you're at twin stadium, you can go to, uh, the Andrew Zimmerman canteen booth and sample some of my chow. Anyway, good question. See you next week.